N Wave was originally Toronto District Heating, uh, which is a municipally owned heating company that primarily served the uh, downtown core and the hospital districts for heating, steam generation. And then in 2003, they moved into deep lake water cooling and started providing chilled water to the city of Toronto through the downtown core and the financial district all the way up to the hospitals, which are in and around College Street and University. So the system on the chill water side provides about 70,000 tons of chilled water on peak, and then the heating system is about a million pounds an hour. The plant that we're standing in right now is the Pearl Street Energy Center, and we have a very large boiler plant. These engines, they generate four megawatts of electricity, but they also generate steam or low pressure steam into our deaerator system. So boilers upstairs use hot water or use water to feed what we call boiler feed water. Rather than having the boilers warm up that water from city water temperature, we're using our engine set to warm up that water before it gets warmed up by the boiler afterwards. The primary business of the facility is to provide a stable steam service to our critical hospital customers. So the electricity from these generators gets uh, directly exported out to the Toronto Hydro Grid in downtown Toronto. Whatever we use in-house, we use first and then the balance goes out to the, to the grid. We run basically to the province's virtual power plant. We would expect to run somewhere between 1,000 to 2,000 hours a year. The Deep Lake Water Cooling System is actually used to cool these engines. It allows us to put these engines in without radiators. Like the fact that we have a four megawatt plant installed in downtown Toronto is, is unbelievable. And the deep lake water cooling is the reason why it can do that because we don't need any of that excess equipment. So there's really two conditions under which we'll operate. One is to meet runtime hours for the contract, which is under the Chipsoft 2 program. We don't know how many it will be, but it will be somewhere around 2,000 hours a year. And then the other part of it was when these engines run economically. So when the cost to operate them uh, is less than the cost of power. So when the government is going to pay us more money for the electricity, we will run these engines. And what we've seen is that that is usually at nighttime. A combined heat and power unit, essentially, you'll generate electricity first, and then you'll harvest the heat out of the exhaust gas so that you're actually doing two things at the same time versus just running you know, an engine to generate electricity and a boiler to generate steam or hot water. You're doing the two processes together. So in theory, you're, you're saving on, on gas and emissions because you're doubling up on a process. A well-run CHP plant will give you about a 33% carbon efficiency gain over running two separate systems. So we will operate this particular asset for 20 years at an absolute minimum. At N-Wave, we have a very important philosophy that we don't like to operate assets just for one purpose. Our intention is to always be looking for other ways in which we can use these assets to continue to benefit our system and, and the environment. These CAT G3516Hs, they've worked very well in what has basically been our first six months of operation but the engines themselves and the components with them have worked flawlessly. We've had no complaints or problems at all. This project is a very complicated installation. We put some very large engines in a very small place, and we had a ton of support from our partners at Tormont and Caterpillar through that entire process. Tormont really stepped up. They brought all their personnel in with the expertise that we needed to get these pieces of equipment up and running and hit our deadlines and timing.